Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can switch between all the different versions um, of Netflix simply by using something called Smart DNS. Um, now Netflix is brilliant, I've been using it for about a year, um, but the the amount of stuff you've got in there, the amount of programs and TV series and stuff, is very dependent on um, where you live, um, where you connect from, in fact. <coughs> For instance, if you connect from France, you get the French version, the Netflix, um, the UK, you get the UK version, Canadian, Canadian version, and so on. Um, which is fine, except um, one of the, the main issues a lot of people have is the US version of um, Netflix is by far better than any, any other one. Um, it's got loads, literally tens of thousands more um, programs and shows than the other versions. So... Um, I'm going to show you how you can access it from outside the US. Okay, so here I'm in Netflix here, just so I can demonstrate how easy this is. And I'm going to search for Lost. Lost is a sci-fi series you're probably familiar with. <coughs> it's not on British Netflix. Um, it was. It actually moved halfway through and I was watching it. So, but um, it's not on UK version, on UK Netflix anymore. It is on the American version. I just wanted to demonstrate this to show you switching between the different versions. Okay, right, I'm going to um, close that now and show you how I can change it just using DNS. Right, now I'm using uh, a system called um, Smart DNS, and, and I'm using the one from uh, they're called a company called Overplay. You'll see a link in the description below. Um, this is the best one. Uh, there's about I've tried about a dozen, and this is by far the best one for the reasons I'll show you now. Um, but in essence, all Smart DNS work pretty much the same way. All you need to do is fool um, Netflix to thinking you're in the um, the US and it'll deliver you the US version of Netflix. Right, and you do this. Um, you may have seen people using proxies and VPNs, which do work as well, but this is easier. Uh, this is just using changing your DNS settings um, so that you don't actually, um, you appear to be from the US, okay? Right, I'm going to show you now how to change it you go this is windows 7 um but really all you need to do is to find where your dns settings are so this this will work on a, a laptop all versions of windows mac your smartphone your wii your playstation xbox roku you name it as long as you can get at the dns settings so you can see my dns setting is currently pointing at my router what i'm going to do is put a smart dns server in uh, this is the one I use from my subscription with Overplay. Uh, now, you can get free ones as well. Um, if you search around for DNS codes, you can find them. They're an incredible pain to use, though, because they keep falling over and they don't work half the time. And they, they can end up stopping your browsing. Because remember, this is the DNS server for all your web browsing when it's set here. So um, you can basically break your web browsing if you put a a dodgy DNS server in here. Right, and that's closed now. And what I'm going to do, uh, you don't need to do this, but because I'm flicking between different versions, I'm doing something called flushing the DNS um, cache. It basically, it remembers all the DNS settings. Um, I'm only doing this because I'm going to go straight back into a different version. So I want it to go and refresh my version of Netflix, if you like. So here's Netflix. And here's me going in. And this time I should get the American version of um, uh, Netflix. Let me just type here. And here you can see, hopefully you can see, I can get lost now. <laughs> I can see lost. Um, this, this is because I'm now in the American version of Netflix. Um, Overplay um, has a neat little um, utility as well where you can actually point it so that you can switch between all the different versions of Netflix. So if you wanted to watch the Canadian version or the British version or um, any of the other, I think there's about 20 different versions of Netflix across the world, you can switch between them without um, changing your DNS settings. Um, it's incredibly easy to use. It's much easier than the proxy or a VPN. And one of the beauty is that it only actually reroutes tiny little bits of your um, 
connection while it while it's checking your location so it basically you stream directly through the netflix site rather than going through a vpn or a proxy server which means it's as fast as your internet connection um really and there's very little to go wrong with it um overplay is one of the oldest ones in fact i think it's the com first commercial one i ever saw um, so all the bugs and problems have been ironed out with it, and it really does work well. It can also allow you to watch Hulu or Pandora, or it'll basically unlock any media site across the world. So if you want to go to an American media site or a Canadian me media site, an Australian, a French, a German, any of the big media sites, BBC iPlayer, it doesn't matter where you are. You won't get blocked based on your location. So if you were in America, you could watch the BBC if you were in Canada, you could watch American Netflix and the BBC without changing anything. It's a superb program. It costs less than five US dollars a, a month. So it's it's not really worth using the free DNS codes with all the aggro and hassle that they cause. Um, anyway, that's basically it. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Uh, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to indeed get lost. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.